Well, good morning to you, Mr. Roberts. You can call me Chris. I'm not comfortable with that, but I, I'll try. You can call me Jimmy, that's with an I-E. Hi, Jimmy. Good morning. Good morning. We are at Crop King Incorporated today in Lodi, Ohio. And back when we were in school, I, I never heard the word hydroponics. Like you grew up in a small farming community, traditional agriculture, we, we covered it a little bit. Hydroponics was brand new. We were eager to teach about it because it's absolutely fascinating. It could be the one thing that uh, saves the world, Jimmy. 15 years ago, tomatoes were all grown in soil. Now, today in 2022, it's just flip-flopped completely. 95% of the tomatoes are hydroponically grown, 5% soil. I mean, I was eyeing one of these Cherry tomatoes. Can you explain this to um, Potassium. Yeah, but we didn't grow any, this here. No, we did not grow any banana palms. So we'll just, let's throw that out now. No, no, I need that for later. We're gonna do some cool stuff here with you today. We're both educators and teachers, so we're excited to teach you something today uh, about hydroponics. Jim, I think I need to interrupt just for a second because you might say, wow, they really went all out on creating this uh, this awesome greenhouse studio. We are actually not in a studio. We are actually in Crop King's experimental greenhouse. Jim. The stuff behind us is growing the NFT, right? Or Nutrient film technique. That is right. You, that's right. It's uh, you get a prize. Does it have anything to do with the box behind you? Yeah, maybe, Jimmy. I just wanted to shake it. No, you can't shake the box. All right, let's go. So, Jimmy, because you got your trivia question right, I am gonna. I do have a present for you. And uh, Yay. what we're going to show you today will allow you to reproduce basically everything you see behind us here on your desktop. A very small unit, it's Crop King's NFT desktop system. And Jimmy, I want you to have one. For and, keeps? Well, the reason I want you to have it is I want our viewers to be able to see what it looks like from the box that arrives on your doorstep to the finished product. All right, let's look at it. All right. All right, I'm ready. Look at this. Yeah. It's heavy too. I'm gonna need to borrow your knife. Oh, I have one on my lab coat. All right, here we go. This is so exciting. And I don't even know how to use a knife. Oh my gosh, already it's shiny. So anyone, parents, teachers, think about this on top of your desk. Recycle the box, please. Oh, uh, I guess we'll need the knife again. I got it. Watch my thumb. Ugh. Look at this, an instruction manual. So this looks like some kind of tubing for a pump. This is your NFT system. You could grow eight plants. Rock wool, this is you're gonna be your growing medium or medium. You're gonna need a pump to circulate the water through. Look at this, there's no soil in here. And we have lettuce seeds and your nutrients that you're gonna need for your water. Because the water does need nutrients that soil would normally provide. Your base is where your water's gonna go. Without even looking at the directions. You I didn't out. even need the directions, I just figured it out. All so where right. do you wanna start, Jimmy? Let's, let's go ahead and just show them quickly how they can set, how easy this is to set up. I wanna read through this entire manual. It's easy growing, it's fun, kids love it, parents love it. There's nothing like picking this out of your desktop unit and having it for dinner. And I always say, this would only interest people who eat. So, raise your hand if you eat. All right. Well, there's one hey, piece broken already. So, Jim? I'm okay. Oh, there, that other one fell. You want to grab that, dude. So, folks, this is the NFT channel, the growing channel. And the basic principle of this is we're going to pump our nutrient-filled water in one side. It's going to travel along the bottom of this, creating a nutrient film. It's going to then drain right back into our reservoir. It's going to recirculate that water. And not to villainize traditional agriculture, because, gosh, we need that. But just kind of some of the benefits of hydroponics and we, water conservation. Yeah, we are so appreciative of our farmers and traditional agriculture methods. However, we have to start thinking outside the box on ways we can feed. We're getting close to, you know what the number is, the amount of people on this planet? Eight billion people. Do I need to fact check that? That's a lot of, that up that's not there. a fact check. That's, okay. that's the truth. All right, Jimmy. Yep, we're gonna assemble this. It is easy, even you could do it. A couple things here. The pump comes with uh, three different adapters. See the one that's got a circle around it, Jimmy? Nope, turn the page. Sorry, my pages are wet. It's this one here, and you'll kind of be able to figure it out intuitively because it's the only one that kind of fits polyethylene tubing here that it comes with. So inside the kit, there is a little T for our feed lines. 
little that, puncture tool. Puncture tool that's included in your kit. Now we have to push this T down in here. Watch your thumb. Yeah. I got it. Oh, I just wanted to help. If you have a small pair of pliers, just something that allows you to grab on to that T to get a little bit more force into that channel until it pops, it's gonna be perfect. You get past that, the rest is gravy. So now we're gonna take the other end of this and we're gonna stick it into that adapter. Yep. And this is going to be our supply line. And for now, we're just gonna set it right down into the reservoir. So these are going so, to pump water into yep. your channels. This is the supply line. You have two channels, two supply lines. So Jimmy, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to assemble our NFT channels. So there's a couple different parts of this, and I show you this because you're gonna to wanna to clean these after every crop. And the reason for that is just to make sure that you don't incorporate any kind of contaminants into your crop. Jim, look, watch. The I know, do you want me to so borrow some chapstick? I'm good, thank you. You see the little hole at the top Got of the channel? Yep. All right, that's gonna go opposite the output channel on here. So those go to opposite ends. Just snaps on? It just snaps on. Pretty. Not sliding on. It will slide off and on. Oh. Well. But I find, I like snapping it on. I don't know. Yeah. So we're going to do that to both of these to make sure this one's already good to go. We got the small hole that's going to be our feed line on the opposite end of our drain hole. And teacher students would love doing this. It's, it really, it's like putting together Legos. It is. The last thing we're going to do before we put all this together is put our elbows on the end of the drain. The last thing we need to do is our cover. And I say this is the last thing we need to do. What you're actually going to do before this is you're going to put the nutrients and water in. But right now we're just assembling. You can take the cover off, put the nutrients and water in at your leisure. We're going to take our two feed lines and our oh, power now. cord. And I'm we're seeing going to put it, it now. Notch. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So we got our two feed lines up. They are going to fit nicely right into the uh, table there. Set your other one up here. And all we're going to do now is we're going to put our feed lines right into those smaller holes on the end. And I just take a toothpick and I just put a toothpick right in there just to wedge it so that doesn't come out. That is a gr brilliant idea. So friends, now we are ready to start planting. So Jim, I know that you're really excited for this. So yeah. I'm gonna- Switch places? Switch places, let wow. you take over. We have rock wool and rock, R-O-C-K, wool, like sheep's wool. Jimmy, you ever see a cotton candy machine? Yeah, I love it. I ran one at a, I used to work for a circus. Twirl around like that. It, this is not cotton candy, but it's similar because what they do is they, they make it into a molten rock. They heat it to, I forget the temperature. When it's molten like that, they spin it, just like cotton candy, it makes this rock wool. So you can see that it does like tear apart but it's the perfect medium because it wicks the water up through it, right? And holds the water in place. First, you have to soak these in water. Soak that. Comes with your seeds. This is actually uh, butterhead lettuce, which is a fan favorite. Eh. As people say, well, you have to put in 10 seeds to make sure they grow. No, you know how many you put in? One. All you do is just pop that seed down in that hole. And then here's the most important part. Fit this into this square, and you have to make sure it's in the water so the water's flowing through here. You just kind of have to squeeze it a little bit, and it's sitting right down in the water. And then you just do this for the rest of the seven in here, and you're good to go. And we're gonna show you the light system that goes with this. Mr. Roberts. Jimmy. We've been standing in here for four weeks and waiting for our crop to come in. And you could actually eat this right now. I mean, I know you said we can eat it now, which is great. Yeah. But until it's truly ready to harvest. Two more weeks. Two more weeks. So six weeks. So if you were having salad for dinner tonight, you could you have a, a smaller salad or skip the salad. No, I never skip the salad, Jen. Full growing from seed to ready to harvest, six weeks. This is what we have here, friends. And just imagine with all these channels full, ready Beautiful. to harvest, it is gonna be go absolutely gorgeous. And here's the best part. Notice there's hardly a blemish on any of this. I mean, obviously no bugs. And it's just delicious, isn't it good? Here, try some more, just a little bit more. Just, yeah, there you go. All right, so then after you do that, Mr. Roberts mentioned cleanliness in the greenhouse. That's so key. When you harvest it, all you do is gently, you're just pulling on this until it comes out. And sometimes it tears off a little bit, but look at the oh, root system gorgeous. in here. Beautiful. I've had I've been doing hydroponics in my school for a couple years now, 
you want to blow kids' minds. Yeah. You lift that up and show them the root system. See what's going I, I on. I don't know what it is about. It's just it's just fascinating. Yeah. But the fact that they're growing in the absence of soil and in the absence of sunlight. Yeah. We have to have some kind of light, right? I remember when I was in school, you had to have water, sunlight, and soil to grow plants. We have our water, but where's our where's our sunlight? Sometimes you don't get enough light in Ohio. We need uh, to help things out a little bit. So we do have a light system also. You got me a light system? Yeah. It's down here. Did you put it together uh, yet? I thought it would be a great thing to put together. Do I have anything for in my teeth? Yes. Um, Can I borrow your toothpick? Thank you. That one ends. Sorry. Wow. The difference between unboxing the NFT system and unboxing this. Jim, I've never unboxed one of these before. Photosynthesis. This uh, is the uh, Root Farm LED full spectrum bulb. So I'm going to try to. Mm, watch my face. Yeah, watch out. Gosh. We have a little baggie of the hangers. Here's our, our legs. You want to take these out of the bag for me, Jim? I'm kind of hungry. We got a little bit of a power supply here. The most important thing we're going to unbox. Be careful with that. Look how beautiful light that is. I mean, I I've got the weight no, both board. my hands. I can't. Two fingers, I can hold that up. Wow. We probably should read the directions. I just say just snap it together. Snap it. If you look at the legs here, they do have a um, adjustable. Careful, snap. careful. Gosh. Adjustable leg. So you want the light nice and close here while you're first starting to grow. Jim, I don't think I've ever put anything together. This that easy. Is so simple. Look at that. Fully adjustable. 12,000 BTUs of raw cooling power. This is perfect for the desktop unit. Oh, perfect. Ideal. ideal. And I think the last thing, as far as the instructions say, we've just got to plug this thing in, then put it over top. It's bright. Oops, yeah, sorry. That's, that's, Let's wait. Let's yep. turn it this way yep. first. Plug it this is going to be you're great. To plug it in. Well, I'm nervous now. Slightly nervous. Look at that. Look at that. We grew these violas to flowers. That's my favorite instrument. There's nothing that says spring like a, a basket of those on your porch. While Mr. Roberts is doing the height there, the, the height is important too because the closer the light, it's more intense, obviously. True. And is that better for the plant or worse for the plant? When you're first starting off your seedlings and they're first starting to sprout, you want that light nice and close so you don't have the plant right. stretching itself out, reaching for the light. Right. And then I usually keep it, you know, just a little bit of clearance over the top and then raise it up as the plants grow. You know, with the, the traditional lighting that we've had in the past, like I said, it put out a little bit of heat. I know yeah. one of the concerns for me within a school is uh -uh. we leave on Friday, come back on Monday, right? And these things will grow a lot yep. over the weekend. And if they grow up into the lights, they would get burnt out, dry out, and they look horrible. Here you get a little bit more leeway with that. It's cool as a cucumber. And you know what else I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking that if I came into school in the morning in January and this greeted me, it would oh. set the tone for my whole day. Look, how could you not be happy looking at that? We live in Ohio. Where you live, you might be able to grow zinnias year round. I don't know. I know in Ohio, we cannot. Tonight. Nothing says love like flowers. Nothing, Jim. You're so correct. Yep. It's hard to articulate just the, the wonder of kids seeing and just the pride that they have planting a seed, <laughs> watching it grow, mm -hmm. and giving that to their mother. They couldn't be more proud. For I, sure. I mean, you're never going to be able to go to the grocery, pick out a bundle of flowers, and give to your mother and have the same sense of pride ownership is growing your own yeah if it has one little flower on it they're going to be so proud of that. hey so for the six weeks a gallon that you have to change the water in that six week time that's a good question jim so uh you do want to monitor the water levels so i would have we know that the formula and the the, the uh the mix is per one gallon so i would have a gallon of water pre-mixed how do you uh, check the water level it's full right now yeah if you walk by this and you hear a slurping or gurgling sound probably you need to add some Good. water pre-mixing the gallon of water uh, is something that I only do maybe a, a day ahead of time oh you want to know why dissipates algae Jim oh because light coming in yeah. this is what's great about these systems talk about failure and resiliency and, and learning from failure you know turn things over to the students and let them ask the question to figure out what was wrong when we pre-mix the water and we left it out in the light just even the light in our cafeteria, over time it grew algae because it has everything you oh, need, yeah. water, nutrients, sunlight. I had one where I had lettuce, I had um, some cilantro, all kinds of stuff yep. growing in one system. I'm excited for you guys to put these in your classroom, in your bedroom, in your kitchen. It's it's just the coolest thing and it gets you started on it. And when you do, tell them Jimmy and Chris sent you. Be good, be kind, help someone out, eat healthy. Stay green, Jimmy. <laughs>